In typical Amazon fashion, your packages don't always arrive at the same time when you order them. And that's why we have another set of rechargeable AA batteries, because we ordered these the same time that we ordered the last batteries, which I'm trying to find here. Here they are. They have a little USB port on them as well, and they're rechargeable. Well, we wanted to have two different kinds and kind of compare them, but of course, it showed up late. The difference with these batteries is that they have a USB port on the top of them that plug directly into a USB port instead of needing a cable. Now to some people that might be more useful or it might be less useful. It depends exactly what you want them for. I can see it being nice having just a USB on there because you can plug it into any USB port, such as a power bank. You can plug the USB directly into it and you don't need an extra cable. That just adds to the convenience of having a USB port on here. You don't need to carry an extra cable. The only problem with that is it could take up all of your USB ports on your computer. Unless you have a USB hub, which this one actually comes with. And these ones will also only set you back about $20, whereas the last ones that we did were just about under $30. Oh, so it's definitely cheaper. Yeah. I, that could be worth it alone. And it comes with a USB hub. Hey, that's <laughs> useful. <laughs> so let's go ahead, bust these open, check them out. We do have the link down below in the description. So, ooh, there we go. Okay, it's even got little buttons on it. Oh, is that to turn them on and off? Yeah. That's interesting, that's pretty wow. cool. It's got a little cable that just plugs in. All right, all right, that's cool. We go, got a little box. Ooh. Oh, they even came in a nice little it comes case. In a little case. Look at that. You got actually, this, the other ones did not come in a no, case. There's they no didn't. way to store them or carry them with you or anything. That's even more worth it. And again, they're wow. pretty light. Actually, they're decently heavy. I think. Ooh, Look at this. Ooh, they just it like has like a little stretchy rubber band thing there. Oh, it's got a little bungee. <laughs> that's <laughs> so cool. And it looks like this clear plastic's a light around there. Oh yeah, maybe. And it looks like, I mean, it kind of feels like it's all, like this is plastic here at the top. I don't know what wow. the bottom feels like because I can't see it either. That is so cool. I want to see how these things look when you charge them. Let's, let's go ahead let's and charge plug them, them in. Let's I love them. how the cap stays on there. That's cool, you can't lose them. Ah, oh, look how they plug in, <laughs> that's so cool. I mean, it's so crazy that USB just fits right there. It's like just barely. It is, it's just barely, barely. the size of it. <laughs> If it was any bigger, it would not work. That would not work on a AAA battery. We got our Rad Power power bank here that we did a previous video on. We're gonna plug that in. And we gotta turn them on. Whoa! Oh, look at the red that light. That is so cool. That is cool. <laughs> look at the red light right there. Wow. And you get this nice blue light. That, that's gonna be annoying <laughs> at night, I just realized. <laughs> We get this nice blue light. Definitely ain't charging those overnight in my room. No way. <laughs> that was kind of one nice thing. I mean, this is kind of partially the USB hub, but these do have a really small light in them. And the one thing I really like about these ones is that they use this cable, they're micro USB, it's more compact, and you don't have to like have that USB hub there. But the problem with needing a cable is that you need a cable. What if you went somewhere and those batteries died and you needed to charge them? Well, now you have to find a USB cable and a USB port. Here, this skips the cable right out. You just need the port to plug it in. And another thing I kind of like about these ones is that they kind of feel more like a real battery. Like, it's not plastic. It doesn't feel like plastic. The build quality does seem to be a little bit better on those. And that's not to say that the build quality is bad on these. I mean, even this is a small point. Look at how all the stickers are facing the same way. Something as small as that means they just paid that much attention to to just applying it the correct way. And that's a little bit higher quality if you ask me. That is actually pretty surprising. I mean, these ones have to be on the same because they have a like a hole built into it. And the other thing is the previous ones that we had are a little bit bigger of a capacity than these ones. Well, it's not by much, but I will say the voltage is slightly higher on the previous ones versus these new ones. And that could mean a lot if you have a fan running, a portable fan or something that needs higher voltage to run faster. So differences aside, let's plug these into something and actually get them running. Now they've been charging for a few minutes. Hopefully they are charged enough. Yes. Let's get two out and we have the Chill-O-Matic, which we did test the previous batteries on. So we'll use the same thing. We got to run a little motor here. We'll take the batteries out. Get 
these in there and we'll turn it on. <gasps> you sure you put that in the correct way? No, positive and negative. That's correct. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, that works. Oh, not yeah. too bad. Maybe because the cap has that kind of connection and you, when you unplug the actual cap, it has to unconnect the positive side. So maybe it was just a little loose or something. Which is another kind of nice thing about the other ones, the old ones. There's no connection you have to worry about. It's all internal, <laughs> soldered together, no dirt that could get in the way, no misconnection, nothing. It just works. Yeah, but they do work and they do work pretty good. The batteries can supply enough juice to, you know, even kind of have the motor stop and come back to full power again. So they seem to hold Hold up to even what the other batteries did even with that lower voltage i will say i am kind of partial on these but i still think these new ones are a little bit better because of the fact that i don't need to go scramble and find a cable to plug them in <laughs> but i still do really like these ones i like the fact that they're smaller they have the higher voltage if you do need that and they are just a little bit bigger in capacity. Not by much, but they are. <laughs> now these are a little bit cheaper as well, coming in at $20 versus $30. And for the $10 savings, you do get a USB hub. Now who doesn't want a USB hub? I mean, come on, really? But also I don't need a USB hub. I can just use one port with my one cable. Which is probably better for traveling, I will admit, but I don't worry about the space too much. I just throw it all in a backpack and go. <laughs> so if either one of these would fit for your travels or what you would like, we'll have the link for both of these down below in the description and you can choose. Thanks for watching, Unbox Authority out.